comes in handy with these boys we love and know. See, there's Carter, Chance, and Jaden. Watch this mommy host the show. It's the Daily Davis and Show. Yes, the Daily Davis and Show. Good morning, guys. Today, I'm officially a single dad. Making breakfast. I mean, cool See, I don't even know. That's that. my lunch. That's your lunch. Yeah, they're making his lunch. Um, I'm not done yet, but um, he's got a snack and and all that. And, you know, trying to get his fruit right, and then we're gonna make some breakfast. You ready for breakfast? Yes, cereal. And can you put some syrup in a bowl so I can dip my apples in it? What is, you want to dip your apples in syrup? What does what does mommy usually do? What does mom can you can you can she, you help me out here? She can give me caramel or caramel, grapes or grapes or yeah okay. orange or orange or okay blueberries or blueberries. I mean, to be honest, Tiffany usually does most of this stuff, and I know what to do is just like it's just much easier when you're able to split the task amongst two parents you know so shout out to all the single moms out there who are doing this like every day you are the real MVP that was that was dramatic <laughs> done breakfast is ready outfit's looking good um i still have to set work on this lunch is ready now what does she put in her hair i know i need this we just gonna take all of it. It don't matter. Come here. Look who decided to join us this morning. You'll say hello. Okay, so I just made it to the gym and I'm about to go ahead and get this chest day in. Today, um, I'm going to do um, a good chest workout, get some abs in. Grandparents have stepped in, so I didn't have to be a single parent for too long. Um, they are amazing. All I have to do, I just want to say thank you to them because they really um they really don't mind helping out and the good thing is they're they're retired so um they they got to sleep in all night and then they was like hey yeah we'll watch them for a little bit uh while you go to the gym so i get to go to the gym and then i'll go back and get them after i go to the gym um and yeah um so they're gonna be helping me out while while i'm here um um and yeah I, don't know. I, I swear I was gonna say something else. I just don't know what it, what it was that I was gonna say. Good morning. We um, landed in. We're in Dallas right now. We landed not too long ago. Well, actually, it's been quite a while. <laughs> we went to go get some Starbucks. <laughs> then we went to a candy shop. And we got some candy. We were like children in a candy store. <laughs> so we tried, I tried some uh, a gummy chocolate berry. Uh, what is it? A chocolate gummy bear. 
and it was disgusting. And I don't, I don't know. It sounds like a good idea, but it's not. It's really, really gross. <laughs> um, <laughs> and I just FaceTime TJ and my mom. TJ was at the gym. My mom had Chancy and Carter. Carter was getting sleepy. He was he, he's asleep now. She just sent me a picture of him sleeping. And um, Chancy was trying to FaceTime me. He was being busy. He wasn't even worried about me being gone. And Jaden, I heard that Jaden, he was almost late for the bus stop. And then the bus driver yelled at my mom because they were late, I guess. So my mom told me that she was like, all right, grandparents, he's gotta be out here five minutes before the bus comes. And I guess he was like running as the bus was coming. And with our school system, if you are late to the bus, you get a, a bus warning slip. And if you get three of those, you can't ride the bus anymore. So she said the next time he's late, he's gonna get a, a warning slip. And I'm just like, that's just, that's ridiculous because it doesn't make any sense for, it doesn't make any sense. Why would I get a warning slip for being late to the bus? I don't know. I don't understand. I don't eat. Did they do that back in the day when y'all, when you were in school? I don't, they didn't do that at my school. They didn't. We had beef bus drivers. And this, this lady, she left one of the kids in our neighborhood one time. Like she saw her coming out and she straight up left her. So our bus drivers were pretty mean too, but um, I just don't understand the whole warning slip and not being able to ride the bus if you're late. Um, but anyway, mom says she's gonna get him. Mom says she's gonna get him to the, the bus stop on time next time. But anyway, we're getting ready to leave. I think we're boarding soon in a couple minutes, and then I, this flight is like three hours long, and we'll be in San Francisco. So we will vlog when we get there. We are in California now. We're in um, Livermore, California. It's like 50 minutes from San Francisco. Um, we just called an Uber. This is our first time together taking an Uber. <laughs> so we're trying to figure out how it works. Yeah. It's, it's, two minutes. It's, it's two minutes away. So we're going outside to wait for the Uber. Thank you. And then we're gonna go get some food. Um, we're going to a Thai restaurant. Hopefully it's good. Um, yeah, we'll show you guys our hotel when we get back. But now yeah, we'll we'll maybe I'll vlog our uh, our Uber experience. <laughs> so I forgot to vlog the Uber drive, but it was good. Um, he talked to us the whole eight minutes here. <laughs> it was good. But now we're at Lana Lana Thai, and we have our uh, we have some appetizers. We have some cra uh, spring rolls. And this is what crab ragoon. Crab ragoon. And it's pretty pretty good. We're really hungry. We haven't eaten. <laughs> we've eaten in a in a couple hours. So I'll show you guys our entree when it comes. Mm -hmm. So here's our food. We crushed the entree uh, the uh, what are they appetizers. <laughs> <laughs> I got yellow curry with rice. And she got spicy chicken roti. Mm -hmm. This looks really good. They both look really good. And now we're gonna crush our entrees. <laughs> so, me and Rebecca are at the outlets now here. We want to waste some time instead of just going straight back to our hotel. So we're just wasting time shopping around. I bought um, the boys some shirts from Gap. And I don't know how I'm gonna get this stuff in my bag because my bag is like really small. It's like just a carry-on bag. Um, I had to just like roll the stuff up roll the, the clothes up but um i saw the cutest little jackets for like tj and uh and the boys that they can match but i can't it's that was just way too big i really can't fit that on my back so i didn't get it but yeah i'm just hanging out here at the outlets it's like an outdoor so i'm trying on dresses in the fitting room you guys <laughs> This dress, I'm trying on dresses for my cruise that were going on in like three weeks, and this one is like, I was like, oh, it looks cute on the hanger. Tried it on, and 
the girls are a little out there, y'all. I look like, <laughs> yeah, this ain't happening. <laughs> Too much. This one is kind of cute. Don't mind my boots, y'all. I just, socks throw me off when I try on clothes, so I just had to put the shoes on. But this one is cute. I just feel like I can't move my arms. <laughs> but I feel like, it's, I like it. Like with heels, cute heels. I like this one. I might get this. <laughs> mm, this romper, it's kind of cute. But I don't know. I feel like it's, first of all, it's too loose up here. And I don't know where I would wear it, wear it to. It's like a long sleeve and then shorts. Like, I don't know. Look cute on the hanger. I hate when clothes look cute on the hanger and not cute on me, man. And this one, I love this one. It's really cute. It's different. But um, I like the whole off the shoulder thing. And I could wear it with leggings if I want to. Boots. It's cute. I like. I feel like it's not something that I would pick out, but um, I don't know. I kind of like it. And the, these these last two ones I showed you, these are not for the cruise, these are just, thought they were cute. <laughs> hey guys, so I'm on my way to go pick up the boys from the grandparents' house. Um, workout was good. Had to stop by the store, and also I bought them some food, so I'm um, gonna bring that to the house and then Chance can ride his bike back to our house, so, yep. Say bye, Nana. Bye. Bye. Say bye, Nana. Carter, say bye, wave bye-bye. There you go. Bye. Bye. All right, we just, we're done shopping at the outlets. Bought some things, and now we're waiting on our Uber. We're like pros at this Uber thing now. She's good at she been booking all of them. <laughs> like I told her, this is our first time doing the Uber thing. So far, it's been a good experience. So, I know, I know, pretty cool. I'm getting a little tired because it's like back home. What time is it? Seven now. It's like 10. It's like 10. Yeah, they yeah, have definitely a bit. <laughs> uh, so we're gonna go back to our hotel and make sure our cameras are charged and stuff for tomorrow, our workshop. Try to figure out how, to, how we're gonna put all this stuff in, <laughs> in our bags. And yeah, the camera's getting ready to die, so gotta go. My phone already died, everything's dying. Jeez. Um, I'm watching a video. <laughs> TJ sent. <laughs> He's always laughing. So cute. I miss my babies. Even though I'm not even going to be gone long, but I miss them. Hi, mommy. Hi, mommy. No. Hi, mommy. No. Hey guys, we're back in our hotel. Oh, this is our hotel. Our hotel. I didn't show you guys it. Um, just looks like this. That's the door. When you first walk in, our little vanity mirror. Bathrooms in there. Becca's in there right now. Um, and then this is our room. Yep. Uh, this is my bed. I'm sleeping over here. So I was able to fit everything that I got in my bag. Um, it's a little snug in here, but I got everything in there. Hey guys, just wanted to tell you guys that the vlog is over and also all the boys are asleep and I'm well and I'm doing good. Now I'm getting ready to shower and go to sleep. I'm about to finish cleaning up and stuff and then yeah, go to sleep myself. Because I'm tired and we gotta get up early, so. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Yeah, I don't know if TJ ended the vlog back home or if I'm gonna be ending the vlog, but if I'm gonna be ending the vlog, I hope you guys enjoy this vlog. Hope you guys enjoyed it. We will see you guys in tomorrow's video. Love you guys. Peace. Peace. So y'all, I'm here with my boy B. How y'all doing? <laughs> he's, uh, he's working, man. I thought you was free. Um, I thought you was It's a combination of free work. <laughs> <laughs> so he, uh, he's uh, actually out here recruiting students for uh, Purdue, right? Yeah, Purdue University. So, yeah, that's, that's pretty cool. He's recruiting some students from Virginia State uh, to join Purdue.